Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. McDonald's worker shocked to learn why she's denied extra shifts she asked for. Racism is a real issue in the United States, but also all across the world, which is why it should not surprise you when you see it in small businesses. Unfortunately, this happened recently to a hard-working McDonald's employee who was trying to make some extra money. When she tried getting extra shifts to make that extra money she found herself in a position where she couldn't because of the color of her skin. Opposing Views reported. A McDonald's employee is up in arms after an assistant manager at the fast food restaurant allegedly told her that she could not get extra shifts because she is black. Divine Tennessee, 18, worked at a McDonald's. According to her, she was told by her boss, Joscaron Sinquila, 26, that no extra shifts were to be given to the restaurant's black workers. I am absolutely disgusted that a company so big and who I have worked for for over a year could treat me like this," said Tennessee to reporters at the Daily Mail. I can't believe that racism still exists in this day and age. According to Keela, the restaurant enacted the new policy because two black workers were underperforming. It's been really upsetting for me and the other black members of staff, Tennessee said, who now feel too uncomfortable to work there. Tennessee added that she started working at the McDonald's so she could save up money to go to college. The teenager reportedly first noticed something was amiss when her assistant manager denied her two shifts. I spoke to some of the other employees, who happened to be black, and they said they hadn't been allowed to pick up any shifts either, she said. I decided to call my assistant manager to find out what was going on. In a phone call recording with the worker, Keela can be heard telling Tennessee that the black people can't take no shifts because they're not performing. My assistant manager said a couple of the other black members of the staff had not been doing very well at work, so all of the black staff were being banned from taking on shifts, Tennessee said. I was horrified, and because I wasn't on proper contract I had no rights and there wasn't anything I could do. A spokesman from McDonald's recently released a statement to The Independent, We took this incident extremely seriously and launched a full investigation. The employee concerned no longer works for the company and support is in place for the members of the staff affected by the incident. McDonald's is an inclusive employer and any incidences of discrimination against our employees will not be tolerated," the Daily Mail reported. Divine began working for the Fort Parkway restaurant, in Erdington, in March 2014, so she could save up to go to university. When she first started working she was given 20 hours of shifts per week, for £5.19 an hour and was able to earn around £400 a month. But in July 2015 she first noticed something was wrong, when she was refused two shifts by the assistant manager. I spoke to some of the other employees, who happened to be black, and they said they hadn't been allowed to pick up any shifts either. I decided to call my assistant manager to find out what was going on. My assistant manager said a couple of the other black members of staff had not been doing very well at work, so all of the black staff were being banned from taking on shifts. I was horrified. And because I wasn't on a proper contract I had no rights and there wasn't anything I could do. In an audio recording of the phone call, Mr. Keela, 26, can be heard telling Divine that the black people can't take no shifts because they're not performing. The United States was built on many principles, one of which is the value of hard work. No matter what type of job someone has, if they are contributing, they are a member of society that should be valued. Working at McDonald's is not exactly glamorous but this employee was willing to take on extra shifts in order to make some extra money and provide for herself instead of utilizing government-funded entitlement benefits. She should never have been turned away for something as ridiculous as the color of her skin. Corporate headquarters with McDonald's did the right thing by taking further action and investigating this unfortunate incident. However, it was not the employee who should have been punished by losing a job it should have been the boss who discriminated against the employee. If this is the type of action taken after an unfortunate incident then corporate regulations need to be fixed and changed to ensure that problems such as these do not rise again. If an employee does their work, does it well, and without any problems, they should not be unfairly and unduly punished. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.